Hi, my name is Shristi and welcome to day 16 of the 30 day mean stack Honolulu challenge. Today, well, today we're going to break some code. So we're, we're working on this, these customers pages. And at the moment, or so far, we've been dealing with one single controller and we've got a whole heap of different pages that, um, that, that, that controller is being used by. When you're dealing with controllers, and I'll just jump across to the customer's controller, and you've, when you're dealing with a single controller, you've got multiple scopes, it can start to get quite confusing when you're trying to work through and identify um, what scope you're working with at which point in time and how all the data kind of hangs together. One way to really simplify that right down is by um, almost using your controller and your scope almost on a one-to-one -one basis, not always completely, but very close to. And that makes the process of just understanding your code um, a, lot, a lot easier, um, in my opinion. Um, so I did say I'm gonna, we're going to break some code. And um, so what I have done is, and what you probably should do before you um, continue any further, is just to go, go across to your app, um, go to customers, go to new customer, and just create uh, a couple of um, customers that you can use for, for testing purposes. So I've already added two new customers in. So if I go across to customers list, I can I can see that I've um, I've created Mary and I've created Peter. So if we look at uh, these records um, using uh, Batarang, so go across to Angular and just wait for that to kick off. Uh, I can already see that there's sort of three records. Just just let that pick up the models. Try that again. Okay, so I um. I've got these three records here. So they sort of start from this structure onwards. So I've got customers um, and I've got three of them. So I've got first one, I've got Peter Carlson, um, I've got Mary Johnson and um, Ali Connor. So I've just added two customers. I haven't changed anything else um, in, in the app. So um, you know, I, I suggest you do that before we, um, before we go ahead and, and break a few things because that may be a little bit more difficult to do um, until we sort of start to piece everything back together. Um, that's cool. Um, let's go and break some stuff. So when you go to the customer's client controller, um, what we're going to do is split this controller into, uh, into three, three different, um, client controllers. And, um, what I first going to do is just push all of my functions out of the controller. So I'm just going to, oops, get rid of that. So I've just grabbed the brackets over at the very bottom of, um, of the page um, so that all of the functions are now outside of the, um, of the customer's controller. So they're all, you can see that um, you know, the, the project doesn't like that very much and, and Grunt's not going to be very happy with that either. But that's okay for our purposes. Um, when we're creating uh, more than one controller for a, a single model, a module, I should say, um, one thing we should do, or one thing that makes it easier, is just to um, give that uh, module um, another sort of reference. So we'll just go um, var, just call this portion of the app the, um, oops, the customer app, and um, and we're just going to copy everything between Angular module. Um, Oops, don't need the dot. So just to that last bracket. And just put semicolon in the end. And uh, what we're going to put here is just that, that reference to the variable that, that we've created. So now what, what this allows us to do is actually then just copy this piece of code and paste that in three times. So we're going to have three controllers and look, ideally you would, you'd create these in, in, into separate or you'd move these into separate documents or separate files. And we can do that. Um, once we're, we're happy with the, with the code. Um, now before I go too far, um, I'm going to just give these controllers slightly different names. So I've got, I'm going to have a customer create controller and I'm going to have, um, customers, edit controller. So they're the three controllers that we're going to deal with. Um, now for these two, I'm just going to remove all of the extra stuff that's being passed through. I want to keep them really clean. So just remove everything, just leave 
scope and customers. Um, and then for this top one, I'm, um, I'm also going to just pull out location. I'll leave everything else for now. Okay, so let's start to kind of put, put some things into our customer's controller. So the first thing I'm going to do is just grab scope authentication, move that into this. But instead of now referring to it as a scope, I'm just going to refer to it as this. So this authentication equals authentication. So it's really, it's pretty much how we'd refer to scope, but we're referring to it in, in context of a single controller. And the other thing that I want to do is go down and grab um, all the code around scope.find and also move that into my first controller. And, um, and what I'm actually going to do is actually just remove that whole function. So everything can go because I'm going to assign this whole, um, the whole query of customers. This is what we looked at yesterday. Um, when we query customers, we're going to assign that not to scope customers, but to this dot customers. So when I calling the cust when, when I call the customers controller, I should, should return back a list of, um, a list of customers, and then I should be able to use that for something. Um, now for now, I just want to go ahead and grab all of this code that's left over. We will use that again, but I'm just going to comment it out um, because I don't don't need that right now. Okay, cool. So so that's kind of what we're what we're looking at. Um, and let's go and make sure that for the view that we're currently working on, let's try and make sure that it still works. So if I went across to list customers right now, I don't have this find function anymore, right? So let's have a look at what that does to our view. So we'll just close that. Nothing's been returned. So what what I'm going to do here, we're going to make a few changes to this view. We're going to get rid of this data and find. We don't need that anymore. Um, but what we want to do is we want to have a reference, a way to refer to the data that's sitting in the customer's controller. And the way that we do that is we just say, I want to refer to the customer con customer's controller as customer's CTRL. Why we use the CTRL, um, it seems to be a convention that we use with Angular and it, it's getting more and more common um, as you look at more and more Angular code. Um, yeah, it's just a convention, um, just so people can understand your code. There's one more step that we still need to do before we can get the rest of this piece to work again. And, and that is, um, we actually need to refer to this customer's controller when we're referring to customers. So previously, we had a customer's controller. We were initializing or calling directly the find function. And that was returning a list of customers. And then what we were doing was looping through each customer in that list of customers. Now we're doing things slightly differently. We're actually saying for this page, we want that scope to be known as customer's controller. So if we want to refer to the customers back in our controller, so if we want to refer to the customers that are part of this customer's controller, well, we need to give it something to refer to. So what we do is we copy customer's control and we just paste it in before customers to give it that that reference to say, where do we want this list of customers to come from? And then we're going to loop through and identify each one. So if we then save that and just wait for our app to refresh and go and um, grab our customers, we now have the same list of customers back that we initially started off with. Okay, so that's um, yes, we have broken some other parts of the app, but we're slowly rebuilding that up as we go. So that's, gonna, that's where we're going to leave it uh, for today. We've, we've covered quite a lot in terms of um, the controllers and splitting it up, and we have broken our functionality um, for create and update, um, but we will fix that up over the next few days. So thanks for joining me. Um, please subscribe to the channel and check out bossable.com for more details. See you tomorrow.